With partisan gridlock slowing down Washington, I know families in our community can't afford to wait for the government to help. That's why we're taking action and setting aside partisanship in the 10th District to make our community safer, healthier, and stronger. Last month, we continue to work throughout our community to provide effective and independent leadership. Sadly, politicians often seem more interested in fighting each other than fighting for the people that they represent. Decades of overspending and reckless policies have seriously hurt our economy and resulted in a system that seemingly works against all Americans. I am 100% committed to building bridges, working with people in our community, and putting aside partisanship to make real progress for families in our district. Everywhere we went over the past several weeks, we asked people to share their story and to have their voices heard. Our community spoke loud and clear. We can accomplish more together than we ever could apart. In an effort to be transparent, here's a behind the scenes look at what we heard. We visited dozens of local businesses. As a small business owner myself, I know that excessive government regulation and an overly complicated tax code are making life more difficult for 10th District families. High taxes hurt families, small businesses, and our economy. We need a system that benefits hardworking Americans, not just the well-connected. We also hosted our fifth job fair to help people find good, high-paying jobs right here at home. Career politicians in Washington and Springfield have lost touch with the challenges facing working families. That's why we're not waiting for the government. Our job fairs have made a real difference for families in our community. One of my favorite parts of August was visiting nearly a dozen 10th District Senior Centers. When the government created the Medicare program half a century ago, our country made a commitment to America's seniors, and it's a commitment that cannot be broken. I'll always work to protect Medicare, strengthen Social Security, and defend seniors from fraud. We also visited with students and parents around the district. As the son of a school teacher and the father of three young children, ensuring a quality education for all students is a deeply personal issue. I introduced the Stand Up for Students Act and the Help for Students and Parents Act to increase opportunity through education. We also signed a historic reform bill into law to help students in our community. One of my top priorities in Congress is ensuring our community is safe and our families have every opportunity to succeed. This month, we continued working to move forward with immigration reform. Every day that Congress fails to act, families live in fear of being torn apart. I am working to secure our border, keep families together, and strengthen our economy. We also held community forums to discuss issues of race, poverty, and injustice in the suburbs, because we are stronger when we work together. One of the major challenges to the safety and health of our community is the prescription drug and heroin epidemic. This month, we continued to work on this issue, meeting with families, police, and other local leaders. Earlier this year, our bipartisan Bill Lally's Law, which was named in memory of Alex La Liberté from Buffalo Grove, was signed into law by President Obama. Lolly's Law increases access to an overdose antidote called naloxone that has already saved more than 100 lives in Lake County. Together, we're working to save lives. As you can see over the last month, we've been busy out listening to you. We've fought through partisan gridlock to grow our economy, protect our community and strengthen national security, and improve our schools. I'm committed to putting 10th District families first, holding Washington accountable, and working towards a smarter, more efficient, and more transparent government. To check out our interactive map and to have your voice heard, go to www.dold.house.gov slash your voice. As always, it's an honor to represent you in the United States Congress.